Welcome to the final cut, my friends, the show that never ends, and it is Mark the Movie Man, and today I finally get to review the movie I've been looking forward to for a long time, and it's the 100% Wisconsin-grown horror film called Dead Weight, brought to you by writer, producer, directors John Panna and Adam Bartlett. Okay, yeah, but they've got a lot of other cast credits to their name, as well does the rest of the cast, because this is a true, independent, 100% self-produced horror film lower budget but you couldn't tell by the way it looks on the screen folks we get the story of charlie russell played by newcomer joe belknap and we see him traveling with a group of survivors as they move across the post-apocalyptic landscape as he's trying to get to wausau to reunite with his girlfriend samantha played by mary Lindbergh. okay and we see the events unfold and the trials that, and, and the obstacles that are faced by Charlie as he pushes through to try to get to his girlfriend in Wausau, even though as the events build and things build up, it seems less and less likely it's going to happen for him. But he doesn't care. He pushes through. He just can't let go, okay? And that's the core of the story. Charlie's movement uh, growth as he uh, travels to Wassa, and plus we get flashback scenes to get an idea of the relationship between Charlie and Samantha. Folks, dead weight is better than even I expected, okay? I knew, I, I kind of figured it would be good from the trailer, but I didn't think it would look as good and be as good as it was, okay? I can honestly say that. I there, there From the editing that is done, and not a lot of mismatching shots, if any at all, in this film. You can tell the editing, they took time with it. And then there is what they did with the colors, which was really cool. They went to kind of washed out browns and stuff and really dreary colors for the post-apocalyptic scenes, but yet the romance uh, scenes, the scenes in the flashbacks of Charlie's memories are bright and colorful, which kind of fits the mood. And let me tell you, <laughs> Dead Weight has atmosphere, okay? This film, I haven't seen a horror film build this much creepy atmosphere in a while. It really has its own feel. And from the, the first scene, you, you get to meet the survivors, and then when they come across the another group of survivors, another set, and that scene there, the events that happen there set the tone for the entire film. This thing is dark, folks. It's not a happy, jolly film, okay? And the things that happen to the characters are not exactly uh, all, you know, yay, we're, you know, we're survivors and killing zombies type of film. No, because this isn't a zombie film, okay? Even though they use the terms infected and it's about an outbreak, you don't really see any zombies at all in the film or gore. What you do get is psychological things going on, which makes it even more creepy. I mean, it's the fact you take a regular character, put them in an extreme situation, and see what happens to these characters. And that's, that's the exploration in Dead Weight. And it, let me tell you, it gets fucking scary, okay? Folks, I love the performances of all the cast. Some of these people, like not just Joe Belknap, but a few other of the cast members, first time in front of the camera. And then you've got some veteran uh, actors and actresses in front of the camera as well. Everybody pulling together and doing their best to bring you a complete film. And it does that by leaps and bounds. There's very few things I found wrong with this film. Uh, just as a horror film in general. I mean, the mood... It had that old-school horror creep feel to it. You add the soundtrack in there, which they do something similar to what you saw in Dark Knight. Uh, is that, you know, when you said the Joker and you had that kind of tone in there that really makes you feel uneasy? You get that music in this film. There's not a huge symphonic uh, orchestra, but there is music in there. And when the music does come, you know, it, it just helps add to the psychological effect of the entire film, okay? Getting back to uh, a couple things... That really didn't uh, get me though was mostly was the re in the flashback scenes, uh, some of the romance scenes and and the dialogue between uh, Joe uh, Belknap and Mary Lindbergh's character Charlie and Samantha seemed just a bit awkward. But I think that was the character, uh, uh, the way they were written. Okay, here Charlie kind of feels a little more selfish and she's a little more you know. Uh, uh, moving forward type of person and and you wonder why these two people are together now granted that is real life you, you get these relationships where there's two people and you're wondering how, how why are they still together so you kind of got that going on and then 
that kind of didn't sit quite right with me with the film, but it didn't take away from the overall experience and the overall pleasure of seeing Dead Weight, especially on the World premiere night. Folks, I gave this five stubs, even with the little bit of problems I had with the, the relationship flashbacks, some of the scenes in there, not all of them, just some. This is a film that exceeded its expectations for a film, especially an independent, low-budget horror film, and it's one that's definitely worth a view and you should see. Check it out. You can go link to the bottom, uh, see, uh, get the DVD. They got a cool DVD, two different kinds. One of them, the artwork was done by the guy who did The Walking Dead. How friggin' cool is that? All right, check out uh, CarryingDeadWeight.com. That's where you can see all the information about the film, clips, as well as a link there to buy the DVD, okay? I'm not just saying this because it's Wisconsin-grown film. This was a very good, complete package, and though it had a few minor weak points in it, one of them with the relationships, this is definitely a solid film that deserves all the praise I'm sure it will get as it hits the festival scene. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep the tickets down.